got this. I'll take care of her. I'll make sure she eats. I'll make sure she takes a bath. I got this. All right, enjoy your day. Don't worry. I got this. Bye. I love you. Bye. I mean, she's four years old. It's the worst that can happen. It's not like the first time I take care of her. She's, she's got nothing. She's a kid. I'll take care of her. Intense. Yeah, I didn't sign up for that. But it's okay. I locked the doors from the inside. She ain't never getting out. So we're good. Uh, and plus, I threw in like a uh, huge bag of Skittles and like four or five go grits. So she's good for like four or five hours at least, man. We're good. We got time. So in the meantime, uh, I got to do something about that mess because uh, my wife gets home. And she finds that mess. Uh, yeah, I don't want, let's not talk about that, yeah. Um, but that gave me an idea. So I'm gonna go build her something special. And when the wife gets home, I'm gonna look like a hero, you know? So I mean, win-win, baby. All right, but let's get started. So for this project, I'm gonna get all my pieces out of a single sheet of three quarter inch plywood. Once I get them down to a manageable size, I can take them to the table saw and rip them down to a rough dimension. Here I line up my pieces so that I can um, pick and choose what size I like, what I don't like, what's going to be on my sides, what's going to be in the tops, and the rough shape of the project. Um, I'll make marks on every joint so that I can go back once I disassemble and I don't lose my spot. So in order to cover up the uh, plywood faces, I chose to go with maple. Um, here you see me ripping down two one by twos down to three quarters of an inch. And that is what I'm gonna be using to edge band my plywood. Make sure you squirt your wood glue out all over the piece and spread that love generously, you know what I'm saying? And once you're done with that, just use blue tape. That'll help clamp your pieces down. I mean, at first I was skeptical, I must admit. But once I watched like three or four videos, I figured all the YouTubers are doing it. So it must be okay. So the goal here is to leave the ma maple edge piece. Uh, just proud of the face of the plywood so that you can go back and even it out with a router. So you remember when I said just be generous with the wood glue? Yeah, don't do that. I did that and uh, that was bad. I had a ton of extra glue spewing all over the place. And to compound it, I waited like two or three days I didn't get it while it was still wet and it was dry and extremely hard to get off for the pieces and it created an immense amount of work. A lot of extra sanding, a lot of extra cleaning up. Uh, started with 80 grit. Go to, went to 120 and then finished up with a 180. Um, I know sanding is boring to watch, but I try to make it as uh, appealing as possible. Here's a close up of that piece. Oh, yeah, check that out. So, 
Stay up, bro. Don't click away. And don't forget to uh, subscribe. Just don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are still watching, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. Let me know in the comments what you want to see more of. You want to see more of these types of projects? Do you want to see more DIY? I can get really in depth. Uh, to be honest with you, I do skip a lot of stuff that I think are not necessary. But you guys let me know. What, you, what did you miss from this project that you wish you would have saw it? And maybe I'll go back and be more detailed in future uh, videos. So at this point, I'm just assembling everything. I'm going to end up taking it apart um, just so that I can paint it. Um, I'm trying to hide all the fasteners as best as I can. Um, but I'm putting it together, making sure all the pieces fit, make, every, make sure everything aligns the way I want it to align. weird um, anyways I decided to go with the uh, antique white wood stain just to match uh, Mila's furniture all her furniture is white so I figured I'd go with the white stain I started rolling it on and I realized there was a ton of bubbles so I found these little sponge brush thingies in a bag I had uh, stuffed away so I started using those and uh, those work pretty good doors on each side of the uh, bookshelf and so to do that I decided to go with some walnut it's just beautiful I mean you can't go wrong with walnut it just gives it this little extra uh, I don't know uh, modern look to it I guess but anyways this is plywood so it just has a thin veneer walnut face on it but on the edge it still has the plywood edge which in some cases it looks a little cheap so in order to dress that up I created some edge banding and basically all I'm going to do is use some wood glue and some tape and just take that to the edge right there and then just clean it up afterwards what this creates is it creates a finished look on your edge it creates the illusion of a solid piece of wood all the way across and it also creates more it creates a, a harder edge so that it resists wear you know a piece a little bit of veneer right here if you leave these edges exposed you have the end grain exposed you're exposed to moisture you're exposed, and it can peel back the veneer it can damage the veneer if you're not careful with the piece of wood so covering it up creates that little extra um, layer of protection so that's what we're going to do next and it's really simple all you need is wood glue glue tape and you just glue it together you line up the edge and you let it sit let it dry and then, and then it's time for cleanup because okay? you do have to clean it up after you know you have to make sure you sand it lightly like this veneer is very very thin Be very very careful sanding this but that's it all right so you know, I thought I was doing pretty good. You know, see, you see what happened was 
I set up my camera thinking that I had a pretty good shot and I was gonna show you guys how I was doing my edge banding and then yeah that happened uh, you can barely see what's going on but you got the gist of it you glue it up you don't use too much glue because you want to try to control it don't be generous with the glue be skimpy with the glue this time around uh, what I did was I was flush with the uh, finished side of my piece of the doors and I left it overhanging on the back side of the doors and then I'm going to be going back with a router and cleaning them up and you can also notice that I wiped off the excess glue before I tried up. I learned my lesson from last time. And maybe I'm a weirdo, but this is pretty satisfying. So here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> really satisfying when a plan comes together oh yeah so proud of myself on this one now if I can just um, how am I supposed to open this uh, oh no oh no you know what they say one man's trash is the same man's treasure I got a good idea check it out Cut this five inch piece in half, making it two and a half inches, of course. Three quarter inch spacer, line it up flush with the edge of my door, and a one inch screw. And there it is. Just like that, you got yourself a handle. Oh, that's nice. And now for the main event, of course. Don't go disrespecting this walnut with any stain. Just get yourself a regular old polisher and conditioner. And look at how that green pops. Be generous with it. You can be generous with this. Look at how that pops. Look at that green. Mm -mm -mm. Love me some chocolate walnut. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Money kid. made it just in time wife's about to be home so let me get this thing out of the garage and bring it inside of the house thank you daddy for my good show so like i said what's the big deal parenting is easy bro i had this thing on lock mila How'd you get in the car? It's <laughs>